In this video, we'll be having a look at the all new cosmic desktop environment created by the fan favorite Linux distro Pop OS. Cosmic Desktop is a new Linux desktop created for high performance delivery while being modern and feature rich at the same time. Cosmic Desktop is an absolutely new desktop created from scratch and it's not based on any other desktop. It's completely new. And it's written in Rust, which is an advanced programming language specifically known for its high performance. While Cosmic Desktop has a familiar desktop layout, it nonetheless brings many new things and many redesigns to the world of desktop Linux. Thanks to Rust, it has noticeably faster performance compared to other modern desktops we have today. It also has advanced features like tiling and a nice set of customization options baked into it. You'll actually love the tiling feature here if you're into it. There's a lot to get excited for here, so let's dive right into the all new Cosmic Desktop. Having a good knowledge of Linux commands and being comfortable using the terminal really broadens what you can do with Linux and what kind of experience you are going to get here. So if you're interested in leveling up your Linux game, definitely check out my course Linux Mastery Express, which is the fastest way to learn Linux and start using Linux like a pro. I'll teach you a set of commands that will give you the confidence to use Linux without even a graphical user interface. Then we'll dive deep and learn how to use the vEditor and master shell scripting with real life examples. After teaching more than 100 students in person, I've curated this course with the top things that will develop your Linux skills the fastest. So if you're feeling like your Linux game is stuck in the same spot for too long and you're ready to take your Linux skills to the next level quickly, check out the link in the description below and get your Linux Mastery Express. We are running a massive 45% discount right now, so make use of it. Alright, starting with the main thing that is the user interface of Cosmic Desktop. This looks similar to GNOME Desktop, but there are tangy twists everywhere. Firstly, this menu replaces GNOME Desktop's app grid. You get a nice box here which contains all your applications nicely assorted into folders. Now these buckets are fully customizable. You can create more, delete and rename and even drag and drop applications into these buckets. And this search here lets you quickly get to any app that you want. What Cosmic developers have done is phenomenal work. I absolutely love that they have moved away from GNOME style app grid. Having an app menu like this is better than GNOME styled full screen app menu because that is very distracting. When you are working and say you want to open another app, pressing the super button sends your working windows flying around and completely breaks your workflow. But this just pops up a small box over your work, so this is not distracting. This stays out of your way when you work. Pressing the super button here summons this launcher. This is even better as many people including myself don't even use the app menu. We just search for the apps and press enter to open them. Here, additionally, you can use the control plus a particular number to quickly launch an app from the search results. Now you have the option to either use the app menu or this launcher with the super key. So however you open your apps, you get to choose what's more comfortable for you. Then on the bottom, you have a dock that has your favorite and running apps. This smoothly turns into an edge to edge panel when you have full screen apps running. Now this dock has extensive customization options. In fact, the whole desktop has super modification options. We'll see this in a later section, but yeah, I'm really impressed by how versatile this desktop is in the first iteration itself. Coming to the top panel, there are workspace indicators here next to the application button. You can quickly switch between different workspaces by clicking on the numbers. These are dynamic and a new one gets created when a previous workspace has an application open in it. You can invoke a GNOME styled activities overview by clicking on the current workspace number. This gives you a nice overview of what's going on in your computer. Then you have your standard calendar here, albeit a compact one. On the far right, you have a tray that houses your tiling controls, volume, network, battery and performance profiles, notifications and finally the power controls. The pop-ups are kept very simple here but they are fully functional. I like that they have chosen to go with a compact design. After using this desktop for a while, you'll start feeling like everything in GNOME is unnecessarily big. GNOME has been very controversial with tray icons. Cosmic Desktop brings out of the box support for tray icons so apps like Transmission, Discord and Steam are not going to have a problem here. The theming seems unaltered from Pop OS 22.04 but there are subtle changes everywhere. Right now, the dark theme looks good and the light theme is not functional yet. But remember, this is a pre-alpha version of Cosmic Desktop and by the time we get to the stable release, a lot of polishing and tuning up will go into the desktop and it will all look even more premium. Tiling has been a huge hallmark feature of Pop OS. Pop OS brought an excellent tiling feature to its users through the use of its homegrown extension. But this time, 
they got the opportunity to bake it right into the desktop and they made phenomenal use of this opportunity. The tiling options here are very simple. For most people, just toggling this switch is going to be all they use and this works really cool. All your running apps and any new app you open up will tile up perfectly on the screen and you can drag and readjust the borders. You can also drag and drop applications into other tiles. I'm a huge fan of tiling and PopOS has been the king of tiling on modern desktops. So this feature is great to see here. There are a good set of additional options given here and keyboard shortcuts are also listed here. I like that only three most important shortcuts are given here so they do not overwhelm you. You can also toggle applications from tiling to floating and vice versa by pressing super plus G. When tile windows are untiled, the windows go back to their original floating window sizes and this is one thing that I absolutely want to have. This does not work perfectly when you have too many windows open but it's a very good start. Customization capabilities of a desktop are very important as these options let you personalize the interface to your liking and generally be more productive on that system. I actually wasn't expecting a lot of customization opportunities on Cosmic Desktop as this is the initial release but it pleasantly surprised me. You can access these options from the new Cosmic Settings app and in the desktop section you get a ton of options here. Let's jump into the desktop and panel section. Here we get to customize the super button behavior. We can set it to open the app menu, the app launcher or the workspaces. Right now this is not selectable but it will be in the stable release. Then we get to hide and unhide the minimize and maximize buttons. I don't know who's gonna turn these off but these options are given to the psychopaths among us. Those gnome purists. Then we get into deep customization of the top panel and we can hide it, move it to different screen edges. Hey, I'm not gonna judge your journey if you move it to any other sides but I'm gonna keep it where it is. You can turn it into a floating panel, make it compact, change the size and even configure the opacity. Then we can get into and change applets that this panel houses. We can move those between the three segments, remove the ones that you don't need and even add new ones. So you have full control here. And the same customization options are provided to the bottom dock as well. Auto hide, position on screen, edge to edge panel or compact one, floating dock, size and opacity and even what things are present in this dock. Everything is present here. Then in the desktop section you can change the wallpapers. Right now the old pop OS wallpapers are here but I reckon new ones will be rolled out with the stable cosmic release. Jumping into the appearance section you get to choose between light and dark modes. Right now dark mode works great but the light mode needs a bit of work. You can change the accent color here. Then you can also change the primary color of the windows or the elements here. This is kinda cool. You can change various other colors here. This is interesting. You get to choose from three different element styles. Round, slightly round and square. This style applies to the top panel, dock and many other elements like the hover outlines. One thing that might be standing out for you guys is this active window hint. This blue outline on the active window. Now you can turn this off from here or you can adjust its thickness from here. I tried turning it off but for some reason I feel that it's better to keep it on. There are settings for workspaces here but notification settings are not populated yet. As you can see a deep level of customization opportunity is provided here. You can also export and import some desktop customizations here. I'm sure we're gonna see a few more tweak options in the final release but right now the big ones are there. When I first saw the desktop, I immediately didn't like a few things and I'm sure you might feel the same about some things but everything can be changed to your liking here. And remember, this is a pre-alpha release so this will be more polished in the final release. The new Cosmic desktop brings its own suite of apps to go along with this desktop. Now these apps too are written in Rust and are geared towards performance. Firstly, there's the Cosmic App Store and straight out of the box, this is one of the most responsive application stores I've seen. I mean, it reacts instantaneously. And it's very simple as well. You get categories and a search on the left and applications on the right side. The application page displays a decent amount of information about applications. You also get a drop down to switch between Flatpak and .deb packages. It's simple, functional and fast. I couldn't ask for more in a software store, loved it. Then there's the Cosmic Files app which is the file manager here. This file manager looks very clean and sticks to a familiar layout. Right now this is not the most feature rich file manager. Actually it doesn't have much yet but I'm sure it will get some big updates in the future. But right now Cosmic developers have created a file manager that can be used from the first go. We get Cosmic settings here to manage various settings. We already had a look at the desktop settings. 
Additionally, you get your basic stuff like input device configuration, sound, display settings, and a few other things here. Again, I reckon this will be updated to have even more options, but right now I'm digging the way this is going. We also get a new terminal written in Rust here, and there's a text editor. Now I'm a Flutter guy, but I'm really happy to see Popware spearheading the development of Rust apps in Linux. These are going to be incredibly fast and resource efficient. Cosmic Desktop brings full Rust goodies here, and I'm really excited to see what more they are going to bring here. Performance is going to be Cosmic Desktop's biggest selling factor. Now this desktop, as you can see, is not a lightweight desktop like XFC or LXQT, where there are certain compromises. No sir, this is a fully modern desktop built for today. The performance advantages are going to come here mainly because of two reasons. Firstly, this is a completely new desktop written from scratch, so there is no old code baggage here. Cosmic developers get a chance to create everything newly with a fresh perspective and also possessing a certain wisdom, having learned from other desktops and even the mistakes made there. The second reason being Rust. Rust is an advanced programming language that has features like memory safety and zero cost abstraction and more, which allow for creation of highly performant applications. By choosing Rust, Cosmic developers get an advantage over other contemporary desktops. Cosmic Desktop, while providing a similar feature set and experience, will be faster than its competition by default. I felt this while I was using Cosmic. It feels very nimble and provides a no lag responsiveness. The absence of animations here adds to that responsiveness. Of course, animations and effects will be present in this table release, so there are no compromises here. The resource usage was pretty normal here. The desktop elements and the new Cosmic apps felt very responsive and light too. They pop up immediately after clicking on them. The performance of GTK apps too was good here. Overall, in the performance section, Cosmic made me happy. It should be noted that this is not a stable release yet and the stable release will give us a better picture of the performance. PopOS developers have always had a vision of how their system should be used. They added features on top of GNOME and this experience was in fact loved. Initially, people went to PopOS because of its experience. But recently, PopOS was starting to feel like a reskinned Ubuntu, just a reskinned Ubuntu, since they both are very similar. PopOS needed to differentiate itself and PopOS developers knew this very early on and they took massive action to tackle this. Just like Linux Mint, Cosmic developers came out with their guns blazing and they have created something very cool. Also, having their own desktop means they don't have to work within the GNOME framework or be restricted by that tech. Now with Cosmic, they have full creative freedom in what kind of user experience they want to provide. So instead of asking why another desktop, the right question here is to see what they'll do with this. I for one am really optimistic and excited to see Cosmic Desktop. Cosmic Desktop will create a new identity for Pop OS. The stable version of Cosmic Desktop will roll out with Pop OS 24.04 LTS. Yeah, that's not too far away, so really stoked for this. Well, I hope you had fun with this in-depth sneak peek of the Cosmic Desktop environment. And I hope you are as excited as me for this. If you enjoyed this video, definitely consider subscribing to the channel and leave me a big fat thumbs up. And if you're interested in leveling up your Linux skills, the link to my course, Linux Mastery Express is given in the description below. It's designed to teach you Linux and take you from zero to hero within the shortest amount of time possible. You'll be using Linux like a pro within a matter of hours, so definitely check that out. Next up, check out the mega battle of the giants where we pit the all new Ubuntu 24.04 LTS against Fedora 40. That's a really exciting video and we see which of the two behemoths comes out on top. So definitely don't miss that. Alright, this is the next text, signing out.